Alright, what's up guys? Today we're watching the Max Sauce Volume 1. This is basically a bunch of people being dumb inside of their so-called fast, expensive, cheap, stolen cars. You know, I don't condone these activities, but it is kind of fun to react to them. You know, look how people pull off bullshit. Because I don't know. So, we're going to start off with the first clip. So it sounds like he's in like a, uh, like an infinity. Mm, sound like a dumb. It sounds like this man is in an infinity, and it's one of those Q something, going down with a loud exhaust, cat back, all that. They don't have any brakes. Them things are like fake GTRs, and if you do put some Brembo brakes on them, they might stop a little quicker. But the brakes on there, never heard of them being good. That's probably why they always end up in a ditch. Oh, wait, 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 how do you even, how does your Camaro, what car is that, hold on, what car is that, how does your Camaro, this, how do you get your Camaro on top of a civilian's car, the NPC was probably just sitting there minding his business, how did you get your Camaro on top of it, I don't understand that, that, I don't, I don't understand, that's just pure stupidity, hope everybody's okay though, this ain't real at all. This yeah. Is fake as <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, his car is literally. Her car. Uh, I did. It's the. Wait. Uh, I did. Did the owner just walk up to the door, pull out something, lock the car like it's just in a park? Man, you cannot park there. <laughs> uh, Ma'am, you can't park there. That's just not how that works. So who car is it? Oh, it's his car. You just look dumb. Of course, another infinity person. It's all will drop. <laughs> Yo, dude, car just fell apart. Hold on. The whole. I forgot what it's called, but it's that little pinion that controls the steering. It basically just folded outward, and this part just collapsed on itself, and then the wheel just took everything out. So his whole steering rack is gone. All of that under there is gone. Like his engine is probably sitting on the ground right now. That is a very serious crash, though. That I, I don't know how to explain that one. How do you you were going to do an all-wheel drive burnout? I'm gonna suggest that car's all-wheel drive because obviously if it was rear-wheel drive, it would have at least one tire would have, you know, did that opposite loop-looking thing. But you get my point. This is very common in all street takeovers. People will sit here, go next to the closest curve, try to do that close drifting, you know, get as close to the crowd as possible, and then they underestimate how close that curve is. And most of the time, you get with that wheel just smacks it. And guess what? Your whole rear differential, gone. You might as well just throw the car away because they're going to ride it off. And if you stole that car, you ain't getting away in it because... Yeah. Oh shit. Somehow <laughs> he, he hit it just perfectly enough. So, I guess they was waiting in traffic. The BMW comes up behind him. And he he, has, he looks like he's having a bad day. Whoever's in that red band must be having a bad day. I don't know if he was 
go in his grocery getter was trying to get some groceries in central downtown and was just too busy of the traffic and probably didn't have his coffee this morning because as you can see from the video the guy is the guy is completely sitting still look at him she even, even reverses like why are you reversing if this road is going this way only time you reverse doing that okay let's say you underestimate your brakes and you're in the crosswalk i'm reversing that's the only time you catch me reversing when you're going straight because stuff like this will happen like some people be driving 30 miles per hour still trying to slow down and you're reversing no just enough but this guy obviously just had a road rage road rage because he ends up hitting him twice yeah he ends up hitting him twice and then try to hit him again he's in a bmw that bmw is gone and I would get out the car too. I would, I would definitely get out the car too, dude. I'm telling you, the worst way to make anybody mad, like, like say you just got your nice BMW, just got it off the lot, probably, well, you put like five grand down on a nice 2020, and then some guy in his beater wife minivan that looked like it got over a hundred thousand dollar miles on it reverses into you well tries to first of all he did he actually didn't make initial contact but then he reverses again hits your car makes you hit another car so now that person car is involved but here's the funny part in new jersey there's this weird law to where if you get rear ended it's that person's fault so that guy behind him is like yo i was just sitting there and then that causes those weird 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 Exist. but i honestly think it's the car the dude in the red it's definitely his fault it ain't no questions about it if any worst day scenario maybe the dude could have avoided it but it would have put him into opposite lanes or anything like that so and, uh, get the all you gotta do is get the plate bruh get the plate oh so basically Hold on, hold on. I gotta. Don't go to takeovers. Don't go to takeovers and get inside the car and hang outside the, outside the window like, like 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 that like like no. And secondly, don't be the bystander. If you if you're gonna be a bystander, this is what you do. This is what you do. You stand back. You stand back because you don't know what can happen. You don't know who's driving these cars what they profession is you don't know what they could have done with these cars these cars probably been worn out all day getting driven around heavy hard and all this other stuff so brakes and tires are worn out and then you get one of those moments where the guy is just screw i'm gonna do a little uh back roll on you right quick but the tires is just done the tires are bald and he just does the back roll but obviously this dude was going too fast probably was trying to get that burnout started hit that guy his guy comes out, his car goes flying, this guy gets hit, and now we're looking at criminal charges. And it's a 350Z. Yeah, boy, your car gone. Your car gone, too. I said infinity. It's always the infinities, bro. Anything with an RB in it. So we got a nice little M8, M3, M4. I don't know, I don't know. Oh, he saves it? Still acting reckless? You're bogging. It's not an M3? Yeah. Now you should not M4. have that car. You should not have that you car. You should not, bro. The traction control is not even one, bro. This guy does not deserve this car. They are right. They're a hundred percent right. Listen, 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 listen. Mustangs, Hellcats. Even some high quality car like this BMW or Mercedes C63 whatever the first thing you do is get comfortable with the car don't go out here get your brand new car don't even know how to turn the traction control off you don't know your car all wheel drive front wheel drive or even if it's like if it's going to do a burnout so you got to learn your car that's why you go into open tracks you go test your car you really test your mic on open tracks i have seen people literally sit there and test their cars before they do stuff like this on public roads and even though it is illegal and it's very unsafe for like the human population and all that because people are walking around and you you could have hit somebody's car you could have hit the wall you could have messed up your brand new car 
don't be an idiot. Learn your car first and know what you're doing because insurance rates are high, guys. Come on now. Come on now. Go home. Go. Take that piece of junk home. Lady. Yo, I could just imagine waking up. <laughs> I could imagine waking up and my Camry's just sitting here like this. Like, oh, hey, neighbor. Oh, yeah. My, somehow I was driving last night and my Camry ended up like this inside your Jeep. But I'm pretty sure I didn't do that because last night, but he was just playing Monopoly. So I wonder how our cars got like this. Amazon. Come on now. I can't just be hiring any semi-truck driver. There's a lot of people that have their CDLs and know how to really maneuver these trucks. Like I have seen it. I have seen bus drivers pull off the impossible doing these tight roads and stuff. But my guy, you you was far off. You done dragged that car a good three inches away from his parking spot. If he was trying to parallel park vertically, I'm pretty sure he would have at least not hit the other car. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh my god. Go go. Yeah, mm, he flee too. <laughs> nah, I made the cab come back up. I don't know y'all. Look at this shit. This um That's a Kia. Classic Hellcat shenanigans. Look like a RT though. Like an old one. That guy is lucky. He predicted. He knew that guy was going to crash. It's like you could tell the future. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. This guy said, oh, nah. He coming a little too close. Let me get up on you. Boom. Well, that's how you save your legs right there. Because if that car would have hit you against that pool, bro, you were looking like Joe from Family Guy. That is how you save it right there. I don't know what he was on and how you completely did not see a pool. But it's simple breaks and correction that could have easily probably bring it down to a minor. But you completely lost control of that car. And just, and that guy is lucky to see another day and to be walking. You talking about some old hyping around and stuff. Boy, you almost lost your legs. That car gone, boy. That car gone. That car is gone. Yep, go run. No. <laughs> B6. If you got a V6, it's specifically a V6. It's not doing that. The only V6 I have ever seen, and that's my jazz car. It is a nice Mercedes, I, I forgot, like an E320, something like that. That is the only car that I know, but it's all wheel drive, so it does not do all of that, but it will slide sometimes. A V6 Charger is like having a V6 Mustang, and I say that lightly. You're not! A V8, you're not spinning them tires fast enough unless you got two twin turbos in it. At least one big single turbo and a, 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 a proper differential and maybe some skill because even a dumbass could have avoided that big ass white truck. And a dumbass wouldn't be doing that in such a tight area. Enjoy your increased insurance rate and having to pay for that dude's truck because he's not even in this car. And then, of course, watch this, watch this. Fucking record this shit. He gone. He gonna run. I not just fucking record this shit. Of course he gonna oh, run. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, just walk away like nothing happened. Oh, shit. Yo, back here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Why do y'all keep messing with Georgia State Patrol, bro? That, yeah, that's definitely Georgia. Why do y'all keep messing with them? They are like Florida State Patrol. And then you got like Highway Patrol in California. And then you got them people that just really don't play in Michigan. Stop running from these people. Stop trying to get in chase with these people because you're just going to get caught.
regardless if they catch you or not, they're all Tri County. They're all gonna just call the next state over and make sure you don't get to nowhere else. And when they do catch you, they got that new technology with the grappler. And I think gets caught around your tire, you get stopped right in your tracks. No matter how much you burn out, no matter how much you sit here and try to push all that thousand horsepower, whatever. As long as that engine catches you, you're done. And if they pit maneuver you and they decide to take you out, so be it. You and your car might be gone. But they're not playing no more, bruh. They're not playing. They're not as light as the other county. Yeah, you look dumb now. Yeah, that's definitely like Georgia or something. Yep. Break my wallet, BMW. Um, here we got the chargers. You shouldn't even be worried about that charger. That charger don't even cost more than more, more than what you would pay for your average Nissan Versa. So the charger get a nice little write off on it. Probably change the bumper, you'll be all right. The BMW, on the other hand, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that I can tell by that model. I forgot the model name of it, it's like an M something, but like that whole right side is gone. Yeah, he looks upset. Yeah, I got that. Oh, my lord. He upset. He, he's upset. Oh he angry, bro. But it's a V6, my guy. You ain't losing nothing, bro. You barely spent money on that car. Yo, know, Team Max on the come up with some good stuff, bro. Some good videos. It's just like, what is wrong with these people? Okay, we got some people on the highway. Oh. He drives an Altima. What do we expect? Continue. I'm not even gonna speak on it. It's an Altima. It's an Altima. It's an Altima driver. That's all I gotta he's, gonna say. he's gonna max soon. He's gotta be. He's gonna max soon. Boom, boom, boom. Man, this guy's just instigating. Yo, bro, if I had the pull, I would dead tell this nigga get out of here. Boom at him, like, right? Like, but what is he boom doing? Boom at this nigga. He's a death wish. Oh! Yeah. That's what stupidity to get you. This dude just went around the parking lot dangerously. Like, there's people around. I don't know if it's like a car meet or people just out there to be out there. But you're constantly just speeding around and you don't expect to crash eventually. Like, dude is calling it. He's like, he's going to max soon. Boom, boom. Duh, he's going to max soon. This dude is just driving recklessly. He has no care for nobody's safety. So, you know, karma. I told you he's going to die. I told you Now watch him drive off. But you too excited for that. For no reason is crazy. Yeah, you just hit everybody hard. Man, fucked up. Man, it's a lot. Man, it's just a Nissan. Right off. <laughs> Niggas should have boomed at him. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, people should have shot him for no reason. Ooh, that's a nice one. That's a Pontiac. Those are some nice cars. Like you don't see those cars very often. I have never seen one up in person. Like, I've seen a Chevy version of that car, I think. I think it's called, like, the Chevy SS. It kind of looks like it has the same body type. But my guy. It's a car. It's, it's, it's like a Hellcat. It's like having a baby Hellcat. 
but like you gotta still control that car, bro. You're macking. Like he was good. He was doing good. It looked like he was had it. It's just that car was in the way. And yeah, of course you gotta drive off and all that other stuff. So make sure I like it to subscribe. I'm gonna try to do more of these videos constantly. This is something I like doing, watching the, this channel, Max Foss. We also got a lot of videos up here, a lot of good content. So make sure I go subscribe to them too. You know, make sure I leave a comment below what I should watch next. Thank you. Let's go.